Hello, Adam here from UK Tech Review, and today we're going to have a look at Cyanogen Mod uh, 6 on the HTC Hero, the GSM one. Now, the, this version isn't out yet, it's still in alpha. Uh, I'm currently using one of the nightly builds, the latest nightly build, I think it's 124 or 129. Uh, and as you can see, yeah, I've highly customized, customized the device. Uh, we're using the launcher ADW, which I'd highly recommend. Uh, you can do lots of fancy stuff, in particular the swipe gestures. So as you can see, I've got no notification bar there. This home screen is my default one. There's nothing on it. But you do a quick swipe down, and there's the notification bar. Put it back up, and it's gone. Uh, the app drawer, the little dock at the bottom, you can see. I haven't got that. It's not there. See get my apps. Just a quick swipe. And there they all are. Very nicely look looking there. Very nicely polished. Uh, and very simple if you're looking for a sort of simplicity. Um, another screen here, got those widgets there. One's called Batstat, B A T T S T A T T. And then the other one that goes with it is called, wait for it, it's called Tajum, which I'll show you now at the bottom. Tajum. Uh, really, really nice widgets and the customizable. You can customize the opacity, the colors, all things like that. Uh, then on here we've got the new power control, which comes with 2.2. Uh, I'll show you what setting that up is like. Bear with me. So, power control, where are you? There we go. So you used to just click on it and you'd get your power control. Now you get all these options. So you can have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, mobile data, uh, switch between 2G and 3G modes, data sync, ring mode, so silent vibrate, screen timeout, Orientation, brightness, flashlight, lock screen, airplane, I mean there's loads and you can change the background of it, the style of the corners, you can make it, um, the transparency of it as well, you can change that, there's tons of options for it there and you could literally, you could have a home screen, with, uh, a power widget, sorry, with tons on it, you could have that, that and that, oh, size of that, it's huge, uh, I don't know why you'd want it that big to be honest with you. Limited, oh, there we go. So you're limited to 10. Uh, but it just shows you how powerful the power control is now. There's a lot of different features for it. Um, it's a really nice widget, I like that. <coughs> uh, what I've got there is a really nice weather widget. It's part of the Beautiful Widgets collection. That got updated the other day uh, to include a, a, a weather widget on its own without the clock, which is really nice. Uh, my icons there, as you can see, uh, you can add them using ADW launcher wait for it, there you go, you have to go on custom shortcut uh, and then you can pick what you like, so applications give it a minute, it takes a while uh, uh, uh. here we go, so if I wanted barcode scanner you can add that and then just to get rid of the label you just delete it what am I doing here it's hard to, uh, hard to see the screen. Give me a minute. There we go. Deleted that. Okay. And there you go. There's your shortcut without any text on it, which is another thing that I really like. Uh, let's go and have a look into the Cyanogen mod settings. This is, um, as I said before, it's the latest nightly build. I did start out using the alpha which was good but it did have a lot of bugs a lot of them which have been ironed out now uh, which I, to be honest I've hardly come across any bugs at all I, at one time um, the screen went black and I had to take the battery out to reboot but that's literally the only problem I've had with it uh, you've got so Cyanogen mod settings here we go uh, install location so you can have apps to SD your input that's how you there. You can wake it with a trackball, etc. Performance settings, get a little warning there saying you might break your phone, you probably won't. Uh, so, some nice performance settings, sound settings, so your notifications and that. Uh, user interface, which is a good one, you can change the notif notification bar quite well. You can change the color of the clock, the co you can have the percentage shown on the battery, you can have the signal set strength shown. Uh, you can also change the color of the clock, not the Color of the notification bar, which does require a reboot, but it's quite a nice feature for those who who like uh, a darker one. You can't set the transparency of the notification bar yet, but 
uh, I presume that feature will be built in soon. Um, so yeah, there's a signage on Mad Sends. You got your ADW stuff there, which I'd highly recommend. ADW. I used Launcher Pro for quite a while. Paid for the widgets and that. I really liked it, but nah, ADW. I'm on now and I'm enjoying it a lot more. Uh, it goes really well with signage and mod. Just proper fast as well. This is faster than 2.1, definitely. Um, I would definitely recommend this ROM, even though it's 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 not even sort of finalised yet. It's very very good ROM. Uh, in terms of wallpapers, it does come with a few live wallpapers. I wouldn't recommend them. Um, Magic Smoke doesn't work. Maps one, it will work, but it's slow. I'll show you now. So there it is, and then you set it. Give it a minute. So, as you can see, the speed's just gone there dramatically. I mean, it, it it's not awful, but I like a silky smooth scrolling experience, and this isn't that. So I like to just stick with uh, just with a static wallpaper. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. You can still make them look really nice. Let's have a look at the Cyanogen mod ones. Some beautiful ones. Put on them. Let's just set. Uh, I quite like that one. Let's set that for now. So you can see the speed's right back up there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, another thing I think we should take a look at is the camera. In a lot of the early builds, camera previews weren't working. As you can see now, camera previews are working. You have autofocus. See it folks in there. Takes your picture. There you go. Um, you also got on this Cyanogen mod the 3D gallery, which is nice. Yeah, it runs quite well. I'll show you that now. Don't know what's going on there. Yeah, it runs quite smoothly, the 3D gallery. It's not the uh, quickest thing ever, but it's a nice feature. Here we go. Gallery. So it takes a minute to load everything off the SD card. As you can see, nice animations with the photos dropping in there. There's a multi-touch feature. I can get it to work. Oh, it's done it on the bottom one. There you go. You can pinch them open there to see what's inside the folder and then close it. You can open them up. There we go. There's a funny picture of John there. Um, and then obviously, it's not the fastest gallery in the world, but it, uh, I don't think I clicked that right then actually, so I'll take that back. But it, it isn't rapid, but it's fast. You know, it does the job. Nice scrolling through there, pot noodle, from there, that's the one I just took. Um, and you can also have slideshows. Somehow. Don't know how. Uh, you've got this nice little scrolly bar at the bottom. Date comes up. Beautiful. And then you've got a quick... I don't know what I'm saying there. Anyway, yeah. Um, overall, I'm very very pleased with this current sound gen mod, I mean it breathes a little bit of life back into the hero, you get that extra little bit of speed you're on 2.2, you know, you you can pretty much install most of the apps on the market right now uh, some games it still struggles with, like Angry Birds that just came out, it will run it fine, it lags a little bit though uh, it's still perfectly playable, but 3D accelerated games, you know you pretty much gotta stay clear with them with this device, but yeah, Sana Gem Mod 2.2, this is the latest nightly build, I think it's 124 or 129, I'll try and put that in the description, uh, I'd highly recommend it, you know, just breathe some new life into your device. Anyway, that's it, I'm Adam for UKTechReview.com, if you've got any questions, post them in those comments, cheers.